Okay, this Panzer IV video covers the creation of the front part of the suspension, the drive wheels. First thing you want to start with is uh, just to expand these front holes a bit so you can easily push a skewer through them because uh, you're not going to be able, in the end, to actually have a sharp end. So you want to make sure that your skewer that you're going to use passes through here fairly easily before cutting it down to size. And you're going to need a 11 millimeter to 10 millimeter button and a couple of eight ring caps, so the smaller size of caps. And I've got a hard flake. This is optional, but it is nice if you have something to uh, kind of represent the drive aspect of the wheels. So once you've got those expanded, you want to take um, a ruler and just mark the skewer at 35 millimeters. And we can cut that, go ahead and cut that off. Just make sure that that's going to fit through here and that it's the right size. Now you kind of want to make sure that you don't push a whole bunch of material through on the back side. You see why we expanded these is because it's pretty tough to actually find the mark on the opposite side and then to get the skewer to push through is not always the easiest thing. Okay, so got a little bit of skewer on either side, just like so. Try to center it fairly well, and then we're going to cut free from the ring two of these eight ring caps. And uh, these aren't visible, but you will have to sort of trim the uh, ring that they're attached to off, just so that they can glue well to the buttons that we're eventually going to use. And what I like to do is I'm just going to leave this in here, put a little bit of glue around where it enters on either side. And then, well, I'm not going to fill these. I'm going to put just a bloop of glue inside of each of them. And attach these on either side. going to leave that to dry for a bit while we work on the next piece. So you're going to need uh, some buttons, like I said, 10 or 11 millimeter buttons, uh, two for each vehicle. And you want to sand those down on uh, fairly rough sandpaper, just get them scarified so you can uh, glue them easier to surfaces, substances. Now this is like optional, but if you're going to use a uh, snowflake of some kind, um, I would recommend gluing it to the uh, flat side of the button rather than the concave side of the button because this concave surface is better to glue to that um, cap gun cap than it is to try to glue the flat surface to it. So the best way to install these is to kind of put a layer of glue. Oh, you also want to sand down these... Uh, now this is a plastic um, snowflake. So I've sanded this down already on uh, fine sandpaper because it's super hard to actually get a grip on it and move it around on rough sandpaper. So you can see when I put it on that way, it's hard to tell when it's centered on the button. But from the back, 
it's super easy to center the button. So just turn it around and get that centered and leave it to dry for a bit. And I recommend that when you leave it to dry, you kind of leave it up on something so it doesn't glue down to any kind of surface. I've got a dry one here. Just going to trim everything that pokes out over the edge of the button. And you got a little drive looking wheel sort of thing. And so now, once you have two of those made, I mean, you can start with one. I'm going to start with one, just to finish this process. Take some super glue. Or modeling glue, would work fine too. And just, because it's plastic to plastic bond, we're not using the white glue. So try to get this. And when, you, when you're gluing it down, like pull it to the maximum amount. Downward. So that the uh, cap is still sitting in the concave zone. But that you have the most amount of room possible for your little bit of track there. You're going to want that later. Try to make it sure... This is flat, coming off nice. So you will have slightly more of the button down than up. And that gets you your front drive wheel. And on to the next step. Now obviously do that twice, once for each side, and you're ready for the next video. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the website and uh, Hit that support button if you can. If not, spread the word. That's great, too. Thanks for watching. See you soon.